hello beautiful people welcome to another episode of just timber i am going to jump right into this vlog and this vlog is going to be all about me shopping at costco for the very first time you guys so keep on watching to see what it looks like on the inside <music> So just a little backstory, we ended up getting our Costco membership through the Groupon deal. Um, that is where you pay $60 for a gold level membership. You get two membership cards as well as a $40 gift card that will be mailed to your home. You'll be able to use that for um, gas or for groceries, whatever that is what you will use it for. And I thought that was a great deal just because we also have a Sam's membership. And so I wanted to compare and contrast the two to see which one would be more bang for our buck. And so like I said, this is just going to be a quick walkthrough of what you see when you go into Costco. I know I'm not the only one who hasn't experienced the Costco goodness. And so I wanted to share that experience with you guys as well. <music> One thing about Costco is I felt like the school supplies were a little bit overpriced even though they are in bulk I can buy the same thing in bulk um, at Office Depot or at Staples or even from couponing and so one thing I know I will not be buying from Costco is definitely the kids school supplies <music> Now I did notice that their appliances, like for instance, the Ninja um, blender, the um, bullets and the air fryers, these were definitely priced very, very well. Um, and they would also make great Christmas gifts. The prices to me seem to be a little bit better than actually buying them from, a, from other like local retailers. curious about the pricing on was the paper towels and the toilet paper and even though they didn't have a lot of name brand paper towels y'all it was still more competitive than going to Kroger or going to Sam's and it was actually more in a pack <music> One thing I was dead set on coming into Costco for was basically lunch box items. And since Leah does take her lunch to school, I wanted to see how competitive these prices were. And y'all, let me tell you, Costco, Costco is about to be the bay, which is a bargains are everything. Like Costco like they really showed out with the snacks and everything like that some of the items that I purchased from Kroger they are here for the same price I pay at Kroger but for more in the box like are you kidding me right now and so I definitely know where I'll be buying our back to school stuff from just because I will get more bang for my buck when it comes to lunchtime items <music>
potato chips. If you know, like I know, Kroger has a 24 pack or a 36 pack of the potato chips for $9.99. Here at Costco, it's 54 bags for $13 or $10. It all depends on which type you get. And y'all, that is definitely a steal. 54 bags of chips, that's literally for the whole month plus an after school snack. And so these prices here are definitely more competitive and more cost effective for our family, especially, like I said, with us packing lunches. y'all so here's a quick recap of what we got from costco on this haul and so since we were new members they gave us this um nice looking hot and cold bag we were able to store all of our um items that we purchased today in that bag which i thought was super cool but while we were there we got these crispy wings joe wanted to get the classic buffalo flavor um and we haven't tasted these yet but we're definitely going to give it a try we also got these chicken wings right here um we used usually pay $17.99 for half the size of this bag at Kroger but at um, Costco we paid $21 and some change which is definitely a good deal so for all these chicken wings right here you cannot beat it back to our um, lunchbox items we ended up getting this variety pack from Nabisco it was $8.98 for 40 of these packs and then last but certainly not least we got these chocolate French crepes this is what Leah wanted, um, and these will also make a good afternoon snack as well. As you can see, she's already torn into it. She had to eat it when she was in the car, but this is what they look like, and they are perfect for just throwing in your lunchbox. Well, y'all, all in all, our Costco experience was amazing. We paid $53 for all of these items right here. Not to mention, we ended up getting two pizzas for $18 as well, just for dinner. But yeah, y'all, that is going to be it for this vlog. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you like Costco and what was your Costco experience. But yeah, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Talk to you soon. Bye.